Greetings, greetings, greetings. So um, I haven't did any videos on William in quite a while. Well, not, you know, in a few days or more. But um, I was kind of, not kind of, I was doing videos on that uh, domestic uh, dispute or domestic violence situation that was going on with the pastors in North Lauderdale. Did three videos on that. Go check that out if you haven't already. Um, I'm interested in, drop down in the comments and let me know what you know on those videos. I'm interested in knowing what you know. And it's okay that I wasn't, I was, was doing something other than William because I'm looking for other stuff to talk about other than William. That will interest y'all. And uh, so I really didn't plan how I'm going to do this video tonight. Uh, but I just wanted to share a few things that's been going on with him um, since I was doing videos on uh, that that couple with the domestic uh, situation but before I do let's do some housekeeping first a little, little housekeeping so in the comments so y'all know I love y'all comments in the comments someone complained about the commercials um, they said you know thank you for bringing us this uh, story I'm, this is not exactly what they said but basically uh, thank you for bringing us the story but you know, all these commercials, it's so many commercials, you know, uh, who, where's the getaway car? Where's the getaway car? First, let me say that, um, the getaway car, it ain't like I robbed nobody. I put commercials in my, in my own content. I ain't robbing nobody. I'm setting a fee. Putting commercials in is almost likening it to me setting a fee for a product. And it's like choice whether or not, you know, you buy the product or look at the commercials or look, even watch my, my video. So there's no getaway car because I'm not making anybody watch it. I do videos for a few reasons. Number one, YouTube is a hobby for me. It keeps me entertained, especially during this pandemic. It's been um, the thing that's really one of the one of the few things that's kept me really going with all the quarantine and isolations and, and all the restrictions during this pandemic. Number one. Number two, I enjoy it. I enjoy being a YouTube creator. But what motivates me to do a to do a video, even when I don't feel like doing a video, is the fact that I get paid. Um, is it a lot? No, but it's enough. I get paid. So that, that's a motivation. And. With that, I do not choose uh, what commercial goes in. I could choose the place, but that's extra work. So I don't. I, I allow. I allow uh, YouTube or Google to choose where to put the commercial. So if you look on here, whenever I finish a video, what I go in is I determine what. Um, like I. I do an overlay ad. Basically, that's just a banner. And there's no talking there. It's just a banner on the video the whole time. I choose non-skippable ads because skippable ads are very, very, very long. I was looking at somebody's video. And I'm going to get back to William, y'all, in a minute. Just stay with me for a few seconds. A few housekeeping. Just a little bit. Of, just a little bit. Of, um, I was looking at somebody's video one day. And they had the uh, skippable ads on there. And I like to support people. I don't want to rob anybody. If I'm looking at your content and enjoying it, the least I could do is hit the like button and look at your commercials because you don't put time and effort in doing the video. So I'm, I'm, I want to support and I'm looking at the video, the skippable video. That that skippable, not the skippable video, the skippable, skippable, skippable commercial. Let me slow down here. I'm trying to get through this so quick that I'm beginning to stutter. And I'm going to talk about my stuttering in a minute too. Um, so I want to support the person that put the time in to bring me this video that I'm enjoying. So I will look at the ads. Even if it's skippable, I don't skip it. I look at it. But this ad was so long that I forgot the video that I was looking at. It was like a whole, seemed like a whole concert or something. So for that reason, I choose to put in non-skippable uh, ads. Now, those non-skippable ads are 14 seconds long. I know because I am myself that we are impatient people and we want to get to the get to. I understand. 
But Fort is 14 seconds long. And some and the person who complained said there was two of them. So t- whenever, and it's not all, all the time too, but sometimes there's two. I don't choose how many there is. I just choose non-skippable. So if there's two, that's 28 seconds of your life. 28 seconds. Not minutes. Not one minute. 28 seconds. Um, and as you can see there, I don't pick. I could go in and pick where I want it. But again, I'm, you know, how much time do I want to spend on each video? I want to be able to put the video out, you know, without doing an eight hour job because they don't pay me. I don't make eight hour uh, money off of it. So I don't go in and, and, and manually put everywhere I want a, 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 a ad. I let Google AdSense determine where the ads go. And as you can see there. It's not every, you know, they placed the ad at the one minute, 14 second mark. Then it was a whole three minutes went by and they placed one at the four minute, 18 second mark. And then a whole nother look like uh, three minutes go by and they placed one. So, you know, three 28 second ads. All right. Okay. Uh, th- let's talk about someone said that I used, I say, um, and, uh, and stuff too much. Like they said, <laughs> you begin to sound like William, um, and then they told me to take constructive criticism. Listen, I'm 51 years old. Okay. At this point, I ain't going to speech therapy. Whatever is speech impediment I have at this point, it's going to be there. So do I stutter? Uh, yes, I just did. Uh, I started not to do videos. I'll make this real quick because this video is getting too long and I ain't even got to William yet. I started years ago, back in 2018, I started doing videos on because I cruise a lot, or I used to before this pandemic, and I and I travel a lot. And I used to do videos on how inexpensive it was to travel and cruise tips and things like that. And I stopped because I realized that I was doing the uh and um, because I go back and re-listen to my videos before I, I upload them. And I, I was telling a friend about it, and she said, uh, she said, she, she sent me a video of, uh, Michelle Obama, first lady, Michelle Obama. And in that video, Michelle was like, um, uh, uh, she said it's a tick that some people just have, but thank God it didn't stop the first lady. And I was like, you know what? Those who is annoyed by the, uh, and the, um, they won't listen. And that's okay. I'm in it. If there's anything about my videos, whether it's the commercials are too long or me stuttering or me taking too darn long to get to the point or just like right now I'm doing some housekeeping and y'all ready to hear about what the shenanigan that William did get to it then you know there's a couple of uh options you have and I I want I love all my all the people who are subscribed to me and I want you to stay but if I annoy you I don't want you to stay I only want people watching my videos who are interested in watching them and who are enjoying them so that's enough of that I love you all. Let's move on to the shenanigans. Okay, where should we start? Oh, if y'all looking, I don't really do Christmas, but if y'all want to buy me a Christmas gift, I'm just teasing. That wasn't supposed to be in there. Let's get to the shenanigans. Okay, William, and these are not going to be in order. It's not going to be in order, but since, it's, since my slides are not in order, we'll start here. Why did William run out of gas? So let's go to that video and watch it. And I'm sorry, y'all, that I'm skipping around and stuff, but I just didn't have it stuff in order. Yeah, let's start here. And sorry about all the kind of background noise. I'm moving around. Listen, look at that smile, y'all. Look at how's he looking like that. <laughs> Can you both be entertained by someone and not like them at the same time? Walker 
her shades on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm waiting on Triple I came to pay on my Dillard's account and I said, so I knew I didn't have no gas, right? But I said, oh, so I'm going to run over here. Let me say this. I actually like those shades. I am into wearing what I'm calling, and I'm sure there's another name for them, night shades. Like when I go out, <laughs> I throw on a pair of shades. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling those shades. I, I like his little Appletina. Uh, I guess they're talking about Appletina Walker. His, um, what's the guy name that sing? I'm still standing. Elton John. I like his. Uh, he, he should kind of start a shade collection, maybe. Oh, uh, to go along with his merch, but he likes to put his picture on everything. You can't put your picture on shades, but let's go on. I'm a pay, um, Dillard's because it was right, like my my car was due, and so I said I was gonna run over here, and then I said I wanted to run in here because I wanted to try to see about an accessory for what I wanted to wear tomorrow. Um. And then I'd realize that tomorrow's first Sunday, so it don't really matter because I'm supposed to wear black anyway. So, why, right when I park, it decides we ain't going no more. So, anyway, so I'm waiting on AAA. So, you know what? You, you a grown man. How you run out of gas? You a grown man. Most men, y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Most men are obsessed with gas. Like, if their tank get to half a tank, I ain't got no gas. I got to gas this car. Or if they get in your car and it's at a half tank, girl, why are you riding around with no gas in your car? You need to get gas. And I remember my daddy used to always say, don't let a car run all the way out of gas because then you uh, filtering trash up through the whatever, whatever that that, it, that, that the corporator or wherever it's supposed to go through. Um so most men are very obsessed with having their car full of gas. How he let it go, go to the one and like, and like with my car, it'll tell you how many miles you got left. Like it'll say, it'll say low gas. Yes. I let my car run down cause I'm a woman. We don't like going to the gas station. They don't pump your gas at the gas stations no more. But, um, uh, and they be in the attendance. I'm that old. But, uh, so mine would say low gas and then it'll tell you how many more miles you can go. How he let it run all the way out? He in the parking lot and the thing just stopped. Now, what I believe, what I believe, and I'm being shady, I believe that uh, he told me he was going to pay his dealer's bill. You got a credit card. Well, you got credit cards. Anyway, uh, I believe that he was like, mm, I'm going to get some gas. I done drove. I done been driving back and forth to this, this all of these brave uh, Braves celebration because y'all know the the Atlanta Braves won the uh, World Series baseball, and I've been running back and forth and, and in traffic and stuff, and and now I don't have no money and folks ain't ain't sending me no cash apps. Then he he hit them. Oh yeah, I can let it run out and then have to call AAA. How much that gas they bring y'all? Y'all drop that in the comments and let me know how much gas do AAA and these um roadside assistants bring you when you ride the gas. Did they bring you just enough to get your behind to the next gas station or did they fill you up pretty good? Was that was his plan to put gas in his car for the week? Was that his plan? Is there anything else we want to hear on this video? I done got, I done got hungry too. Um, and I'm still tired from all of the parties last night. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got so much to talk about with the parade and all of the activities. I did not realize, y'all, you all let Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms have it. Y'all, um, y'all let the Braves have it. Y'all talked about the parade and then how fast they moved through Atlanta versus the funeral procession once they got to Cobb County. Oh my gosh, you all just really, really went in. Where's my heart at? Why y'all not giving me any hearts? Why y'all not showing me any love? What is that about? Okay. Like, what, what? So, we're going to move on to the Braves, I think. Let's see what's next. Move on to the Braves. No, let's do this one first. So, he was down at the campaign headquarters. 
um, this weekend. He was doing a lot. Uh, William was busy um, from, I would say, Wednesday on. He was, he was out there. And look, he got on a dirty hat, y'all. He got on a dirty hat and wearing an ash cough. Is that, am I pronouncing that right, ash cough? I like those. I like them when they're, they're, they're done correctly. But anyway... Uh, so yeah, he was busy. He was out and about, you know, doing his thing. And I say, go ahead, William, do your thing. But I wanted y'all to see this video. Check this video out and y'all will see why in a minute. Check it out. Okay. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. who's going to be in the runoff for mayor. So I'm up, I'm with it. Tell for the long haul tonight. Let me show y'all. Oh, y'all can, uh, y'all can also send me some hearts and stuff. They got those, uh, y'all can show me some love. Oh, and look, I'm with 46. Say hi, Deidre. Five, five. Hey, oh, five, five. I thought she looked at like that. You with somebody, you don't, what, you don't know what station she worked for. You ain't with her. You running up on her. You ain't with her. Don't be trying to try to give us the impression that you're a partner, partner with her and you work for that station. You ain't with her. You didn't even know what, what station she was with. And she quickly corrected you on what station she worked for. She said 46 is over there. Gone over there. You William gone over there. 46 over there. I was in college. It was WSB. That's right. And the, and the president of ABJ. <laughs> so we're here. We hold it down. And then this is this is my boy from the you boys. Like boys. Itaro, what's going Itaro. on? <laughs> we in the ATL. We making it happen, y'all. So. It's gonna be a long night, but we we have we have one celebration in place, and that's the Braves one. First time in what 26 years, 22 years, 26, 22 years, 22 years. Wow! After we spent a thousand dollars to park at the uh, at the uh, stadium, can you believe they charged us a thousand dollars to park? It was crazy. So. Anyway, y'all, I'll be coming back and forth throughout the night. So, ow! I love it. The one thing that me and William definitely have in common is our, our love for sports. I, I think he genuinely do enjoy sport, sports. And I know some of you going to get in the comments and say, he just want to see the me. Oh, that's a cutie. I, I I know who that is. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but he's a, uh. But anyway, y'all can tell me who. Oh, he got some cuties on here. Um, um. Uh, well, that guy wasn't too cute, but you know, William. Go ahead, William. Do your thing on the dance floor. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I know y'all gonna say, oh, he just likes sports because he gets to be around the men's. <laughs> he's around the men's right now, but um, uh, yeah, I think he genuinely likes sports, but. Yeah, William was he was kind of he was hanging out this weekend doing his thing. So he'll probably do a Sunday night live t tonight uh, to catch us up on um, everybody in the church who's having sex, what kind of sex they having, what what and who they having it with. But, but but this weekend he was being a little bit more productive. He even did a video outside of the um, news lady, and I don't I didn't know her. You know, I I, I she was popular in Atlanta and, and probably popular a few other places. Uh, but he did a, uh, was outside, uh, of their, uh, uh, covering and I'm using, I'm putting, I'm doing air quotes covering, um, her, um, home going service. So let me see what else I have. It was one other thing I want to show y'all. Oh, I showed y'all the, the out of gas. Hold on. This is when the guy came to get them. I'm sorry. These are out of order. Y'all see, see my gas, man. They ain't nobody came on yet. Nobody on yet. Yeah, let me see these 200, 200 bombs. Oh, they're just doing a half. It still ain't doing nothing. It ain't moved. Why they ain't on yet? I wonder, can I get a thing on? Yeah, I might be. You on Facebook, that's why. 
There he is. Say that dude, that's where I go. Yeah, that's where I am. What you do? Oh, you do Instagram? Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Instagram is Facebook though. They not, they, why they won't come back on? You gonna follow me? Make sure I make it. It should be one on right on 10th Street, I think. IG, so I can't because I tagged you. Okay, so here, here is the man. There he is. There's Samuel, y'all. So now we got to find a gas station. Y'all see me out here looking crazy. <laughs> there go the man. What's his name? What's your name? Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick with the gold team. Nick, yeah. Nick, with the, Nick with the gold team. He came and brought me gas down here to Atlantic Station while I'm looking like a bug. But I'm out here. Vote. No vote. No victory. Shouts out to Kenny out of Detroit for my Okay. Sister. That's enough of that. So be. he he had to show off the gas man that came that, 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 that's to bring him gas. Okay, so uh, it was something else. Well, I guess I don't have it. Hold on, y'all. Am I making y'all dizzy? I am so sorry. So anyway, so he was with Pastor. Um, there it is. That's Pastor Troy. And uh, who is Pastor Troy? He wasn't with Pastor Troy. He ran into Pastor Troy. So when they did the um, at the parade for the Braves winning. So Pastor Troy, I had to go look it up. I said, who's Pastor Troy? Uh, Pastor Troy is an American rapper and, and record and a record producer. He is also the member of hardcore rap group DGGB, Down South Georgia Boys. Oh, Georgia. You know, Georgia got their own stuff there that they do. In 2020, he made several uh, homophobic statements against Lil Nas uh, that generated considerable controversy. And so here's he he went all he made homophobic statements against uh, Lil Nas, but here he is taking pictures with old William McRae. And uh, I noticed, and I'm not going to play this video because the music in it will uh, will be copy you know cause me to get a copyright strike. But um, there he is. He keep, keep keeping that camera straight on, uh, Pastor Troy. He was so happy to run into pastor troy now y'all could drop in the comments and let me know is pastor troy like well known is he national y'all don't bought his albums you know the, uh, listen to me i'm dating myself albums y'all don't bought his cds his music do y'all know of his music see like i heard that name before pastor troy but anyway so that's william in one of many videos that he did enjoying the parade and the braves uh winning the world series and um so again i'm sure he'll be talking about all of this tonight on his sunday night live if he do a sunday night live because as he said today is back to church and back to life and back to what it is that he do so is there anything else that i want to do y'all check out his these pants honey i li actually like his shoes i thought they were boots and they may be boots but um, and that sweater, I like the sweater. I just didn't understand why. It's, is that supposed to be? Is that like a fashion statement for it to be open at the bottom like that? Maybe. But anyway, but these pants though, what's on them? What's those little design on them? But anyway, that's William. That's catch. We're gonna call this video catching up. Is that everything? We're gonna call this video catching up with Sir William this weekend. Catching up with Sir William. All right, y'all. So if he do a Sunday night live, I will try to make sure I have that to y'all uh, no later than Tuesday. You know, I'm back to work next week. I was off work this week, so I was able to do some lives and do some videos without them being delayed. But I'm back to work next week. And I'm sure as soon as I hit that button, because I didn't even I, usually when I'm off work, I go in and check my emails and you know, see if anything needs to be addressed. But this time I didn't look at anything because I needed a mental rest from my job.
because it's been so demanding since the pandemic started. And um, uh, so I didn't check anything. So I know I'm probably going to have 400 emails and I'm not even exaggerating and a lot of stuff sitting in my queue ready for me. So hopefully I'll be able to get the video because y'all know when I do a video, I have to listen to it, take notes, do my little pictures so I can give y'all something visual while I'm doing the recap. It, it takes a little bit of time. I'm, it's not, I don't do editing and all that. So it don't take me, I won't, I won't even be trying to uh, embellish in that like I do four and five hours worth of work. But it, it does take time to listen to the video, do the notes, um, to put some pictures to it so y'all can have a visual while I'm talking about the recap. And then, you know, uh, making sure that it's okay. And sometimes it's, it's you know, the first video ain't going to work. Got to do it all over again, that type thing. So I say all that to say, be patient with me. It'll probably be Tuesday before I get it out. Um, if he goes, that's if he goes live tonight, which I, I suspect he will. Um, and I guess that's all I have to say. I hope that everybody's, uh, had a great weekend and is keeping yourself safe. Y'all pray, pray for me. I went to an event last night and I let my guard down again, meaning my mask. Um, I'm vaccinated, fully vaccinated, but still, we still have to, um, keep ourselves safe. Anyway. Before I begin to ramble, because I am beginning to ramble, uh, this is Miss Cruiser 2. Please like, share, and subscribe.